You know, sometimes it's okay to ask for a little help, and it's times like those that I'm really glad I got you guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizardry, and as always guys, I am Andrew, and today guys, today I have got another video for you, but before we get to that video, make sure you are liking and subscribing, and hitting that bell notification, so you can get regular updates for when I put out new content, post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, make sure you're checking that description box down below for the link to the Wizardly Duo Discord, as well as information about my Patreon, and links to all of my social media. So that said guys, I need a little bit of help, this, that's right, this is HELP Episode 2. So you guys chose for me to read the Dark Elf Trilogy um, a couple months ago. And while that one didn't work out and ended up in a DNF, I do still need your help and I want to engage with you guys. And so I've got some series that I really want to get to. And I figured I'd ask your opinion. And whichever one wins the vote is the one that, when I have time, will be the next up in my series to start. Which means it jumps the line straight to the top of the TBR. So that said, guys, we have got five books here. Five book number ones. I didn't realize I'd have to turn so far. Anyway, five book number ones. All right. All very good series. That hurt. I shouldn't slap my hands. Uh, number one. We Ride the Storm. This is the Reborn Empire. I've got this whole trilogy. And this is by Devin Madsen. And she is an author who I've been hearing a lot of buzz about, specifically about this one. And guys, like, this is Asian-inspired fantasy. If you know me, I am definitely wanting to get into more Asian-inspired fantasy. I gave the Poppy War a try. Huge miss for me. But this one sounds really good. It says, War built the Christian Empire. War will tear it down. So this is more war-inspired. It says, Darkly devious, gripping epic fantasy, boasting complex characters, brutal battle, and deadly intrigue. From Kevin or Cameron Johnston. Ugh. Man, just uh, Peter McLean's got a uh, grabs you by the throat and doesn't let go, guys. I would really, really, really like to get to this at least sometime this year. So let me know. Is this your vote? Let me know in the comments. All right, number two, number two. Also, um, been getting a lot of buzz. This is, I believe, the Divine Cities trilogy. I've got the whole trilogy. This is City of Stairs, book one. This is by Robert Jackson Bennett. I initially heard about him through Foundry Side. But I, you know, of course, don't have Foundryside. I've got this instead. And I've heard that this is basically urban fantasy mixed with a little bit of horror themes. I think that sounds really, really interesting. And I would love to give this a try. Also, short books on my friend right now because I have been reading nothing but a bunch of chunkers. So we will see uh, if that wins your vote. This one's entirely Alan's fault. Uh, and he knows it's his fault. That's right, Alan. I'm talking to you. Uh, that is going to be The Shadow Campaigns, book number one, The Thousand Names. I don't know a whole lot about this. This is Django Wexler. And guys, I had to hunt for the UK printings of this because I don't like the US printings. I think the covers are dumb. Uh, by, and that one's put out by Ace. So I had, to, I had to like hunt and hunt for these. But this is In the Desert Colony of Kondar, a dark and mysterious magic is about to be unleashed. Man, that just sounds cool. Uh, this is supposedly, like, Napoleonic, I think, with, like, demons. And that just sounds really cool. Alan loves this. This is Flintlock Fantasy. And I, I, I'm i kind of on the hunt for a lot of Flintlock Fantasy because I really enjoy Powder Mage. I know Alan doesn't. I really enjoyed the second trilogy more than the first trilogy, which I thought was just fine. But uh, I've had this on my shelf for, like, four or five months now. And I just don't know when I'm going to get to it. I would love to get to all five of these books. I just don't know when it's gonna happen. So if you vote this, it moves straight, straight, straight to the top of the TBR. All right, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna give you some space. All right, next up, we've got Retribution Falls by Chris Wooding. This is the KDJ series. I've got all four books in this as well. I love Dark Water, Dark, bah, bah, bah. I love Dark Water Legacy. Number one, The Ember Blade by this author. And so this is more of like a steampunk-ish kind of... It, it was uh, Guardians 2009 Summer Must Read. A wonderful book. And it says, Darian Frey is a roguish captain of the KDJ, the leader of a small and highly dysfunctional group of layabouts. 
Frey and his gang run contraband, rob airships, and generally make a nuisance of themselves, all while avoiding the Coalition frigates. That sounds like steampunk, and it sounds like a bit of Firefly. And that interests me. If it interests you, go ahead and vote for this one in the comments down below. All right, last one, guys. This is the last one, I swear. And this is one that I, was sold to me as like fantasy meets Guardians of the Galaxy. And that's John Holland's The Dragon Lords, Fool's Gold. You're, and I got to read the back of this because it's really funny. You're not seriously proposing we steal from a dragon. Uh, it's not any easy to live in a world ruled by dragons. The taxes are high and their control is complete. Uh, but for one group of bold misfits, it's time to band together and steal back some of that wealth. Uh, no one said that we're smart. Uh, and that's that, that's all that's on the back here. Guys, I don't know a whole lot about it. Let me get it on that cover. Literally, giant dragon and a bunch of guys saying, we done messed up. Uh, if that sounds interesting, uh, I haven't heard a whole lot about this on BookTube. I found it at Half Price Books like four or five months ago. And I just got the third book in my latest book haul. So guys, I'm super interested on this. Please, please, please do me a favor. Drop in the comments down below. I don't care if you even rank your votings of first preferred, second, third, or just give me one answer. But let me know which one of these should jump to the top of my TBR. I need your help. Uh, that said, guys, till next time, peace out. Stay magical. Bye. And as always, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons.